Uh, welcome to another Lick Friday, and this week we are on 256, I think, is it? It is. Week 256 of Lick Friday. This is your Lick. <laughs> Another speedy kind of lick in places over a Satriani style track which I posted a very long time ago now. Um, you can get that in the link below as well. So it's sort of a YouTube um, friendly video which is all very nice. Um, so yeah, it's um, based around E minor pentatonic and that is it. Nothing special about it at all but it is quite a nice lick. So it's just a simple but effective lick which needs a little bit of attention because of the speed of that ending phrase and a couple of little bits throughout. So use of hammer-ons and pull-offs is kind of key with this one to make it work. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, hit that bell button and subscribe to my channel. Hello cat. Um, don't know where she's going but there you go. And um, if you want the tab for it you can get it free from dansguitar.com up there and down below and if you want to come along to patreon say hi and see me on social media stuff you can get it up the top there and down below and from that address which comes up just there for all the social media stuff so that's it i'm not going to ramble on too much again i know i say that every week don't i now yeah anyway there we are so um yeah this is the breakdown of the, the, the lick i'm rambling I, I really am i'm rambling so this is the breakdown of that lick break you down so this is fairly straightforward in the sense of it's just pentatonic scale and what you're going to be doing is using the lower half of um, shape five to start off with which is the um, and you've got a bend which you wouldn't normally put in I would imagine but I'm not sure you may do but let's, let's just see if it sort of sparks any kind of uh, newness within your playing so you start in purely and simply with the 10th fret thick string going to the 12th fret and then it's 10 12 on the fifth string with the 12th fret being bent up a full tone stopping it at the top of the bend bringing it down and adding vibrato to that 12th fret on its own so okay now the next part is this little sort of short sharp burst of energy and you're going to do two of those plus an extra long short sharp burst of energy coming up um so which is basically fifth string 12th fret 14 hammer on um then you've got 12 14 on the d string the fourth string so which is that um as which is the 12 and 14 on that as well so you've got then the next part goes next set of strings so string four and string three same thing 12 14 12 14 and then you've got a short little run of that little bit which is basically starting on the third string this time you can do the same short sharp burst of two strings which is 12 14 hammer on 12 15 on that sec second string because of the change in pattern then you're coming back down so you're going to pull that 15 off to the 12 and then go to 14 on the third string pulling off to the 12 so and then it's 14 on the uh, third string fourth string sorry um so and then 12 on the fourth string and then you've got 14 pull off to 12 on the third string and then 14 pull off to 12 on the fourth string so to finish it with which is basically that section is so the hardest part is coming down those three strings so you'll find a pattern that works you can pick your way through it as well um, but it's just entirely up to you as what technique you use to make it work so play it slow for you now here we go so three four
you made it to I made it to the end as well you made it to the end I made it to the end and now the cat wants to come out of the shed she's meowing um what's that brownie what no she's not going to talk to me um so yeah we um are on week 257 next week so I'm not sure what we're going to be doing but hopefully it's as nice as this one simple but effective that's what I call this lick and um, it just needs that extra special care as far as the speed is concerned so for those that are interested in the tabs it's up there and down below and obviously come and see me on patreon along with that social media stuff as well all of that helps the algorithms boost the channel and in turn helps me to create content for you so with that said i'll see you next week for week 257 nice